So in this video, we just want to reinforce the definition of viscosity. So if I put some water on this white tile here, you'll see that it quickly flows down the tile towards the water because water has a relatively low viscosity. Whereas if I do the exact same with some honey and I squeeze a little bit of honey just onto the top of the tile here, you will see that it takes much longer to reach the bottom of the tile. It flows a lot slower because honey is more viscous than water. It's got a higher viscosity than water. So we want to look at the trends in the physical properties of some fractions of crude oil. Okay, so I've got some petrol, I've got some kerosene, and I've got some gas oil. We'll look at the viscosity and we'll look at the change in colour as we go from the petrol to the kerosene to the gas oil. So next, I'm going to start off with petrol. Uh, and you'll see when I put it on the tile that petrol is a colourless liquid. And I'm going to just drop some on the tile there and we'll see that it runs down the tile relatively quickly. Okay. Now if I look at kerosene, and you'll know that kerosene is a larger hydrocarbon, it's got more carbon atoms in it, you can see it's got a yellow colour, it's a darker colour, and you can see quite clearly it's a more viscous solution, it's taking longer to run down the white tile. And finally we're going to look at gas oil, a larger fraction yet, larger hydrocarbons, you'll see quite clearly it's a darker colour than the kerosene and it's also more viscous. It's taken much longer to run down that tile, showing that it's a more viscous hydrocarbon. Okay, so as we've went from petrol to kerosene to gas oil, we've seen a darkening in the colour of the hydrocarbon and we've seen an increase in viscosity of the hydrocarbons.